Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel, who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, our big brother, who's coming to save us from this hell. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. And peace and mercy to the house of David, the hopeful elect, those men that are doing his work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of the earth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice and much love to the one third of you true believers, you sincere believers out there, you men, women, and children of the household of faith. To you all, I say shalom and greetings and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit. All right. So um, I think I'll know how I'm going to entitle this, but something along the lines of when that devil comes or when that demon comes, attack it immediately. Something along those lines. Because bro, I, 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 we just going to keep it real, man. All right. Matter of fact, I didn't even have this. I had some scriptures lined up. Let me go to this one first. All right. I've been meditating on this as of late. Um, you know, just something I recently watched, uh, the, the Noah movie again, you know, and, uh, man, I just got to admit that's a, you know, it's a lot of through parts in there, obviously, but it's some spiritual parts, especially concerning the giants, you know, and we already know those aren't actual giants. According to the scriptures, those are men of renown, right? When you go into the understanding of that, right? Starting with the apostles and elders of great millstone. Right. Um, but uh, let me let me read this. This is Jude one and six. It says in the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Right. And so. Those angels that's which kept not their first estate, those giants. Right. We the we reserved in everlasting chains under darkness. These are the chains under darkness. This regarding this flesh, man. All right. And since you know you are in these chains of darkness, things are going to happen. All right. And I don't mean going off. I mean in dealing with your mind, brothers. All right. And you sisters too. Dealing with your minds. In your mind, you're going to have thoughts about things. Demons are going to try to creep up and try to interfere with your 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 livelihood. They're going to try to interfere with your thought process. Okay, all of these things are are going to, are according to scripture, right? But it's within you. Matter of fact, I just thought of another scripture. But it's within you to try to fight that. Okay. This is a. Uh, Matthew 26 and 41, it says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So your spirit is ready. Your spirit is ready to do all the things that Yahweh ordained it to do. Right. But your flesh is weak. You're right. Your flesh will, uh, will fall short. Right. And so you're going to have thoughts. You're going to have moments where you, 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 you feel spiritually inadequate. All right. But then that your spirit is ready. Your spirit can do all the things right that you that you wanted to do through the spirit and power. How about your mouth shot? But I say this to say. You'll be dealing with your in and every out day. You have thoughts come across your head and they'll, they'll they won't be always on point thoughts. Let's be real. You dealing with this flesh and, you know, and brothers, this is where you got to have a moment of vulnerability if you will you have a moment of understanding because if you if you saying that you ain't never had a a through thought and brother you just you lying man i'm gonna just keep it real with you bro you lying man you have those thoughts gonna come across your mind right but the difference is when you see a man and how his reaction to that spirit is what's going to tell you how what you need to know about that man OK, because we've all been there. We've all had it. OK. But you got to attack it immediately. OK. This is uh, James four and seven. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh, 
resist the devil and he will flee from you. Right. And we know devil ultimately goes into false accuser, deceiver, seducer. Right. Seducing spirits, you know, and it'll try to it'll, it'll work on your mind. You know, you have spirits that come and try to work on your mind. That's what the Lord says. He's looking for men that are tried, acceptable men in the furnace of affliction. Right. But ultimately, you got to resist the devil. And that's when he's going to flee. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the most high. Right. You got to be able to do these things, because if you don't, terrible things are going to be waiting for you at the door. You know, but uh, if I so I'm talking about vulnerability, I'm not going to give the whole story, you know. But let's just say recently I had a moment where my mind was playing tricks on me, you know. And, you know, you I had certain thoughts come across that I know weren't right. I just knew weren't right. And I'm like, Lord, you know, I'm praying to the and that's what I mean, attack immediately. See. How you react to when the, when that spirit of uh through that through spirit comes across, how you react to it is gonna determine a lot about your character. You know? So I had these thoughts come across, and my first thought is like, man, let me pray. So I'm praying to the Lord to help me, to guide me, to lead me, and pray he keep his spirit upon me. Because I know this thought that I'm thinking it ain't right. Right? And that's how you gotta be, man. You always gotta be in tune with the spirit to be able to know when something is out of course with what is Yahweh Shai, right? You got you to gotta be able to have that spiritual discernment, okay? And so I'm like, man, you know, get the hell out of here. You don't belong. I always tell demons that, you know, like I remember years ago, Apostle R was like, man, I'm, I'm I, uh, you know, he made a video called like uh, Exercising Demons, you know? And I remember him saying, like, I'm well, the, the, the demons are well acquainted with me, you know. <laughs> and of course, I'm sure he's way more well acquainted than I am. But I felt him on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I felt him on that, no doubt. And so it's like when you when they well acquainted, they have seen you been around for a little while. They start to mess with you, mess with your mind. You know, even, even you, you super young brothers that just came into the fold. You you vulnerable. You a newborn babe, you know. They even show like them the babies in movies. Who what are the the ghosts and stuff be trying to mess with? It be the newborn, because that's the most vulnerable thing in the house. They be the newborns, then the young children, then the women, you know, all of that to mess with the man, you know. But you know, I had this thought, you know, and I'm like, this ain't right. So, I started taking action. All right, taking action. I mean what? I prayed, you know, I uh, uh I anointed myself. You know, Elder Yashawambo goes into often how our brothers need to anoint themselves often, right? Do the anointing prayer, right? And I, I'm not, even though I know it in the Hebrew, I'm not about to say it. I'm gonna just read read it in the, uh read it in the in the Bible real quick, just so you all can know, right? This is number six, and uh. 24 it says the lord yahweh bless thee and keep thee the lord yahweh make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the lord yahweh lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace and they shall put my name upon the children of israel and i will bless them all right and uh maybe i will just run through it real quick you know uh it goes along the lines of yahweh Shai. Yabaraka, uh, Yahweh, Yashamarka, Yaar, Yahweh, all your Panyawa, all your Ka, Wayakanka, Yasha, Yahweh, Panyawa, all your Ka, Wayashamlaka, Bashim Hamashiak, Yahweh Shai. You know, you say the name of the individual or individuals that are being blessed, you know, through the name Yahweh Bashim El Shai. The water about to wobble on, you know what I'm saying? So that's numbers the sixth chapter. You see? You give those that 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 anointing, then you can you can switch the suffixes a little bit, the endings, when you gotta bless yourself. You know? But these things are important. You gotta so I prayed, I anointed myself, I listened Palo Santo, 
You know what I'm saying? And so when you're doing these things to tap tap into the spirit, it shows the Lord that you want to be on the right trail, right? Because you got dudes that will just give over into that demonic spirit, you know? They'll want it to linger around. You got a demon just hanging around you, and you know it. You know this demon just out here kicking it, trying to vibe with your spirit, and you you like, hey, bro, hey, it's cool if you stay a little bit longer. Hell no, nah, man. Hell no, nah, brothers. You got to attack that nigga immediately, bro. Right? You got to battle him immediately, bro. On, and you know, in the world, they say on sight. When you, when, you, when you see this dude, you know his on sight, man. You putting up hands. Right? We fighting a spiritual battle, man. Let me, let me get this word, fester. Right? Because you, you letting that demon, that spirit fester upon you. It says, of a wound or sore, become septic, scupurate. It says, of a food or garbage, becoming rotten and offensive to the senses. It says, of a negative feeling or a problem, become worse or more intense, especially through long-term neglect or indifference. And see, that's the main one right there, right? You got a negative feeling or a problem. You know it's a problem, but it's becoming more worse or intense through long-term neglect. So you're not neglecting it. You're just like, hey, man, I know I got a, a spirit on me. I know I got a demon on me, but uh, I'm just going to let it fester. I'm just going to let it vibe. I'm just going to let it sit here. You know? It's become offensive to my senses to the point where you, you can't eat right. You can't think right. You can't smell. You can't see right. You seeing things different. You looking at brother sideways. You know, when all in all, it's you. You got to be able to take note of that, Akio. You know, and it happens, I'm sure, to everybody. I'm sure. I, I know I can't be the only one. It, it's, it's come across before. But I take adamant steps, right, to be able to realize what's going on and how to subjugate that demon, how to defeat that demon, right? This is, I'm going to read Ephesians 6 and 11 real quick. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but this chapter talks about how to defeat demons and Esau, right? Ephesians 6 and 11, it says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, right? And we know that's mainly talking about Esau, but even still, right? You got to put on a whole armor of the Most High. And what does that start with? Your mind. Your mind is how you fight against uh, Esau. Your mind is how you fight against them demons that try to permeate your membrane, man, right? Brothers, you are strong vessels, in Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Lord willing, we be at that number. But you brothers are strong vessels. You don't, you don't think that demons want to try to infiltrate you, right? You don't think they, they want a part of that? They want to shut that down, right? Use wisdom, Akim. This is Ephesians 4 and 27. It says, neither give place to the devil, Right? Don't give place to the devil. Don't give him room to uh to go along and with the get along. Right? You gotta learn how to shut that down. Use power is prayer. Excuse me, brothers. It's power in prayer. Right? It's power in the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shah. It's power in knowing who we are and the power that we possess. Don't take it for granted. And don't let the demon just fester on you and take advantage of you and overload you and, 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 and take over your spirit and your soul. That ain't right, brothers. If you really believe in this thing, you're going to fight to the end. We talk about fighting. It says, strive for the Lord unto death, and he shall fight for thee. That ain't just talking about, oh, yeah, I got to go up to the guillotine. That ain't talking about, oh, yeah, I, I on the highways and byways. Brothers, you know, the apostles mentioned years ago, you're not just uh, uh, in the spirit of a uh, um, of a uh, I'm I'm slipping it right now, but you you're not just in the spirit of just going out into the highways and byways, right? I mean that's what it is. You're not just trying to be an Israelite on Saturdays or Sundays or Fridays or whatever camp day is, right? You got to be an Israelite twenty four seven, right? You eat, breathe, sleep. Israelite, you eat, breathe, sleep the Holy Bible. You eat, breathe, and sleep Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay? So you ain't just, a, you can't just be an Israelite on weekends, bruh. 
So when you're going through the week and you got them demons that's messing with you and trying to get to your head, you got to be able to fight against that. You got to be able to defend that. You got to be able to stand up for Yahweh Hashem El Shai, even in your fucking mind, man. Even in your mind. This is Zechariah 3 and 2. It says, And the Lord said unto uh, Shaitan, or Satan, The Lord Yahweh Hashem El Shai rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Hey, so Yahweh Hashem El Shai rebuked thee. Shaitan, you got to be able to rebuke Satan on sight. Agairka Shaitan, Arashaika Shaitan, Madanaya, you know, rebuking Satan and telling him to flee from you, bro. Don't just let him sit around and chill and think that uh, this everything is all good, brothers. The Lord was always constantly rebuking devils. Those are wicked spirits that were upon people. When people had those sicknesses and things like that. Those were wicked spirit that was upon those people, right? And the Lord just knew how to pull them off. He said, some of those have got to be done by prayer and fasting. So if you feel like it's some a stronghold to the point where you just can't get it off, you need to pray, you need to fast, you need to tell, if, if it's that bad, you need to tell the elders of your camp to pray for you and put hands on you, you know? But if it's something that you can handle yourself, you got to deal with that immediately, man. Right? Because when you believe they they when you call on the name of Yahweh Hashem El Shah, they flee. This is James 2 and 19. It says, Thou believest that there is one power, one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. You see, so they, they know and they tremble at the name of Yahweh Hashem El Shah, man. So you got the things that make the, the devil shake. You got the thing to scare them away. Simply by saying Yahweh Hashem El Shah, they automatically shaking in their damn boots, man. Right? So know, know your position. Know the name of the Lord. It can get you out of so many situations when you do it in faith, when you call upon him in faith. Right? This is Matthew 12 and 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Then he said, I return into my house from whence I came out. When he has come, he findeth this empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so it shall be also unto the wicked generation. This wicked generation. See, these people get these spirits upon them. They get legion upon them. And they, 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 they lose the spirit. Then this demon just comes in and takes over. And the last state being worse than the first. Whatever they're doing at first seemed like we knew it was a big deal, but it seemed bad. But then it becomes way worse because they were serving man. They were serving demons. They were not serving Yahweh Shemashai. You know, this is uh, Matthew 10 and 8. It said, this is a command from the Lord to the disciples. He says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. And see, we know that that was talking about those demonic, devilish spirits that people had upon themselves. But that's talking about you too, brother. Cast out devils. Cast out the devil that's in your mind. Right? That's trying to get you to go off. You know? And we, this is why the, how, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem El Shai can always conquer and overthrow the wicked. You know? So never let them evil thoughts try to seduce you and get the best of you. You got Yahweh Hashem El Shah, but you got to be able to attack it immediately. You got to ask the Lord, right, to be able to help you. Matthew 12 and 28. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of the Most High, now this is when the Lord was performing miracles and casting out devils and all manner of, all manner of sickness, right? But, hey, we cast out them devils that's in our mind by the Spirit of Yahweh too. It says, then the kingdom of God has come unto you, right? So we got to cast out those devils. By the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, right? On your in your daily lives, brothers. Don't let it succumb you. Don't let it get to the point where you ain't doing nothing to fight against it. Where you just letting it, you know, uh uh there's a uh, a poem by and I I'm not sure, let me see, it's been a while since I read it. But there's a poem by Langston Hughes. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Lorraine, Lorraine Hansberry. Right, it's called uh, a raisin in the sun. 
Let me see. It was rather quick. Let me see if I can. And that was going into dreams, really a dream deferred. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Raising in the Sun poem. Oh, it was by Langston. Wait, wait. Was that by Langston Hughes? I thought it was by Langston Hughes. I guess it was originally called Harlem. Okay, not Raising in the Sun. And um, maybe that was the book that was written. It says Harlem by Langston Hughes. And it says what happens to a dream deferred. And so this is talking about a dream. And ultimately, if you lose sight of the kingdom, that's a dream deferred. Right? The ultimate dream, it says we would be like those that dream. We have a dream of the kingdom of heaven. It says, uh, does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Right? That That's like a demon festering. Right? Your dream drying up like a raisin in the sun. It says, or fester. And they got the word fester in here. Or fester like a sore. Right? We're talking about that wound. Right? It says, and then run. Does it stink like rotten meat? Or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load. Or does it explode? You see? So what happens to a dream deferred? So, brothers, that's that, that demon going in and is nothing less but seven demons that's worse than the first. Right? You let your, your dream of the kingdom dry up like a raisin in the sun. You let it fester like a sore. You let it stink like rotten meat. You let it crust over. You let it sag like a heavy load and explode. But really, you want to be in tune with the Lord. So... You don't have none of these problems, man. You know, so the why do y'all by Shemal Shai, I just want to push that spirit of understanding, A, hey, if you get the mentality of being, of doing something that's uh, out of course or I want to look at a brother sideways, hey, brother, get your mind right and then you can consider how to move forward. The scriptures talk about getting the beam out of thine own eye, right? You get that beam out your eye so then you know how to move forward. So, you got to pray, brother. Don't don't let it fester and just sit upon you. Pray to the Lord to guide you in the right way so you don't have certain thoughts and mentalities that are not of the Lord, not of the Spirit upon you. So uh, I'm going to get this last one. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 21. It says, ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partaker of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. So you can't, it says a man, a uh, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You got to know whom you serve. You got to know whom you serve. Ain't no this or that. Like this is, I mean, ain't no, uh, uh, uh it says ma man can't serve mammon in the most high. Right? So you can't drink at a cup of the Lord and a cup of devils. Right? So if you're going to be, if you're going to be on those highways, if you're going to be doing lessons, you got to understand that you got a job and you got to pray to the Lord to help guide you to complete that mission, brothers. Y'all should be praying for completing the mission, right? Getting it done, right? Lord willing, we, we stay in his favor and he keep his spirit upon us. But you got to keep that mission. You got to keep your eye on the prize, which is to win your Hawashai and win the kingdom of heaven, right? And Lord willing, be a part of 144,000, you know? But, um, hey, man, you can't eat, be partakers of the Lord's tables and the table of devils. So you want to be partaker of the Lord's table. You don't want to eat at the, 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 the table with devils, right? It's not profitable for you. So rebuke those demons, rebuke those devils that come and try to be around you. They're going to come, brothers, but it's up to you to put your dukes up. It's up to you to fight, but you got the name of the Lord to be able to, you got all the tools you need to be able to fight against them. So, hey, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.